hey there everybody um in light of the uh the recent uh appeals court decision not to hear the case or let the case go forward i wanted to just record a little message for everybody here the first thing i want to say is this thank you to all of you out there who are so supportive and kind and encouraging you know, the reality is there are only about 10 or 15 loud uh, people that are daily pushing this narrative um, and, and all of this negativity. Um, seriously, there, there are like 15, maybe 20 at the most of people that are actively defaming and slandering me online and bullying conventions and threatening and bullying convention organizers not to have me and and other vo other voice actors not to do events with me i i don't really understand why like how do they benefit how does it benefit them to keep me from being at an event i mean it doesn't it doesn't it's a rhetorical question it doesn't benefit them unless they get some twisted pleasure out of keeping me from from making a living and uh, keeping other fans that, that want to meet me and appreciate my work from doing so. But there are 10,000 of you for every one of them. Maybe more. And I just want you to know how thankful I am for that. The second thing I want to say is this. Please, whether you hate me or like me, whether you support me or condemn me, regardless... It's fine if you can't stand me. But please hear what I'm about to say. They haven't won anything. You can't win if you don't allow the game to be played. Does that make sense? All that has happened here is they've kept the case from being heard. That's what's happened. There wasn't a, a presentation of the facts and evidence and, and a verdict and, and proof of anything. It never got to that stage. People talk about Johnny Depp's thing all the time. Well, Johnny Depp had his case heard in front of a jury and they made a decision. It never even got to that with me. It's kind of like if two baseball teams went to a uh, a stadium and one baseball team locks the other team in the locker room and then goes, we won! No, that's that's not winning. You can't win if you never allow the game to be played. If they want to win, let the facts be heard. That's what I would say. If you want to win, if you want to claim some kind of victory, let it go to trial. Don't file motions to shut it down before the case can ever be heard. The last thing I want to say is for those of you that that don't completely understand uh, the case. This was not a, this this is not any kind of a proof of guilt. Th there there was not a trial to decide guilt or innocence. So if you're out there thinking, oh, well, Vic must be guilty. No, there was no pronouncement of any kind of guilt. This was not a verdict. The appeals court simply decided to refuse to allow the case to move forward. That <laughs> That is not a pronouncement of any guilt or innocence of anybody. It's basically just not allowing the case to move forward. So I just want to make sure everybody understands that whether you like me or hate me is not is not the point. The point is that there was not any kind of a of a pronouncement of guilt or innocence and nobody won anything. But once again, those of you that have been so kind and supportive, thank you. I am so incredibly grateful. I look forward to meeting all of you 
somewhere, somehow in the, in the days and, and months ahead. So thank you for, uh, for being such good, kind, supportive people. God bless you.